Welcome to today's video. I'm Joni. If you don't know me, you probably don't, which is great, which is okay. We get to get to know each other, you know? And today I'm going to be talking about A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Sarah J. Moss. I still haven't figured it out. You think I would have by now, but I haven't. Okay, so I did my research and she said it's like Massachusetts. So Sarah J. Mass. From now on, I'll get it right. I'm going by Sarah J. Mass and I'm going to talk about it, do a little review, a little summary. And yeah, that's going to be today's video. I'm super excited. This is part of my Akatar little series, review series. This is the second book. I did a review on the first one. If after this video, you want to go watch that one, go ahead. And yeah, let's just get started. Going into this series, there was a lot of hype. I was really excited. I had just finished the first one and I was disappointed. I was a little disappointed with how this book was. Now, let me just read the little summary. Still haven't figured out if this is a blurb yet. So I did my research again. Hopefully now we're settled. We're good. I want to make this known. I wasn't that disappointed with this book. I'm going to go into it a bit later, but overall I was happy with this book. I don't know why I seem like I hated this book. I didn't. I really liked it. And it is. It's the back cover blurb. Um, I know there's also a blurb like inside. Usually with a hard cover, you open it and it's on like the little flap in the beginning. Um, th it, this is known as the back cover blurb. You know how because sometimes when you get like a hard cover and you open it, there's like the blurb there. Also, I read this, these two books when I was in New Jersey. So I used my cousin's copy. That's why these haven't been like broken into at all or anything. I hear more about this book. A Court of Mr. Fury than I do with the other books in the series and this book took me about a month to read. This book was very slow paced and it was harder for me to get through than the first book, A Court of Thorn of Roses. A Court of Thorn and Roses? A Court of Thorn. Court of Thrones and Roses. I found it a lot slower than the first one. It took me, like I said, about a month to get through. Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna come in while editing. Um, I'm reading the blurb now. I don't know why that part got cut out of me saying what I'm doing, but I'm reading the blurb. Vera has undergone more trials than one human woman can carry in her heart. Though she's now been granted the powers and lifespan of the High Fae, she was haunted by her time under the mountain and the terrible deeds she performed to save the lives of Tamlin and his people. As her marriage to Tamlin approaches, Vera's hollowness and nightmares consume her. She finds herself split into two different people, one who upholds her bargain with, with Resand, High Lord of the Feared Night Court, and one who lives out her life in the Spring Court with him. While Feyre navigates a dark web of politics, passion, and dazzling power, a greater evil looms. She might just be the key to stopping it, but only if she can harness her heroine gifts, heal her fractured soul, and decide how she writes and decide how she wishes to shape her future in the future of a world in turmoil. That sounds exciting. It is exciting. It's a very um, interesting story. The story starts off, we're back in the spring court and Feyre has a lot of, she has a lot of back packet baggage package she has a lot of stuff on her shoulder she has a lot of ptsd from under the mountain and she has a lot on her shoulders she has nightmares that are keeping her up all night she can't get a good night's sleep she is dealing with so much ptsd from under the mountain and she's just not doing well she's not doing good she's supposed to get married to tamlin and She's not feeling it. She's she's not looking forward to it. And I think it's three months after the whole under the mountain thing. She's now Fae and she's no longer a human. She's now immortal. She has these powers. And Resand hasn't kept up his deal, like his bargain. Like he hasn't called her to the night court yet. She's been in the spring court for about three months. And on the day of her wedding, he shows up. Like, out of nowhere, she's literally walking down the aisle and he calls in his bargain for one week. And that kind of starts the book. That's how the book starts. I won't be going into it anymore to keep the spoilers away. The whole book is really her trying to figure out her powers until the end. And she's trying to figure herself out and work through her PTSD and getting through everything that happened while also building new relationships with different people she meets along the way. And this is going to be, she's kind of building these relationships back or she's either building them, building new relationships. And one thing, I don't like Tamlin. I liked him in the beginning. Don't like him anymore. If you've read the books, you'll know why. And... 
I don't like him. I would like to say I didn't have this like burning hatred towards him the whole time because I kind of forgot about him throughout the book like when he wasn't there and then all of a sudden he would pop up and I'd be like oh I hate you like kind of like that like I just forgot about him and that is my feeling towards Tamlin not a fan especially towards the end you think he's gone you think you're not gonna have to deal with him for a while you know you think he's out of the picture and then he just shows up shows up out of nowhere and it's definitely a jump scare and it's definitely surprising and it's definitely worth the read it's definitely keeps you on your toes i'm definitely gonna read the next book i haven't finished the series yet i've only read the first two and there is a little like there are some gaps where i was a little bit bored i feel like there's just a lot of fill-in stuff which i do think is important and the end definitely picks up i feel like that happens a lot with her books the ending is kind of where everything's revealed and everything picks up and you know really starts going and that's definitely what happened with this book and it's definitely what happens with a lot of her books and i think that's all i have to say for this book i don't want to go too in depth for all of you guys that haven't read it yet and i hope that you guys are interested and want to read it this isn't a very long video it's definitely pretty short i think that's all i have to say you know this book is a lot of building new relationships while working out old relationships and a Feyre dealing with all this ptsd she has from under the mountain and going through new journeys and new challenges and new battles and new territory and just all of that and it's not as much as world building as the first book i hope you guys like this video please subscribe and i will see you guys next time i'm definitely gonna do another video with the next book so stay tuned for that and go watch my review of the first book a court of throne and roses and i will see you guys next time love you all